Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today I thought we would play with a fairly new mod. It's the Realistic Birth Mod by Panda Sama. I did cover this when it first came out and it's had an update, although the update was like over a month ago now, to have realistic birthing options for triplets. So I thought I'd take two video ideas and put them together. So today we are going to be watching a realistic birth for triplets and we're also going to be seeing if I can get grandma pregnant. Looks like she's missing a few teeth. So this is Margaret, she's an elder. She lives in her little house with her boyfriend Seth. And Seth's always wanted kids but he still wants to be with Margaret so they've decided they're gonna try for a baby anyway. I do have a few mods that I think might help me with this because there is the mod called Babies for Everyone which allows elder sims to become pregnant. However, I don't have that mod installed because it is quite an old one and it hasn't been updated for years. So I don't really want to risk breaking my game by putting an old mod in there. So instead I'm going to try and get her pregnant with either the Woohoo Wellness mod or MC Command Center. So we're going to try Woohoo Wellness first, just because it does allow for a more realistic conception if I use Woohoo Wellness. So if I go to Fertility Options, Reassign Fertility Based on okay. okay, so with Woohoo Wellness, I'm not getting the option to be able to adjust how fertile she is. I'm thinking, how about, how about we just go for a Woohoo I should be able to adjust his fertility settings. Set fertility rate. So we'll put him at the highest. All right, let's see if we can organically do this. I mean, either way, I would have to use MC Command Center to check her pregnancy status anyway, because I don't think she'll be able to even take a pregnancy test on the toilet. Hopefully this doesn't like kill her from exhaustion. <laughs> Did you have fun there, Grandma? Oh, I do have the option now. Take a pregnancy test. Let's take the pregnancy test from the birthing mod. I have two options there. Is grandma pregnant? That is the question. Oh, she's actually doing a pregnancy test animation. Let's get a closer look at that face. Margaret is not pregnant. Maybe next time. Oh, she's sad because she failed to conceive. And she's dangerously tired. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, well, we tried it the fair and square way. Let's go into MC Command Center then. So we'll go MC Pregnancy, Pregnancy Start. Although she doesn't have the option to get pregnant by Seth. She only has the option to get pregnant by Jeffrey. Uh, we might have a bit of drama going on here. Okay, so we're going to do triplets because I think the latest update to the Realistic Birth mod was to have triplets... And also there's like a load of new animations for partners as well. They already have their little baby room here. Three beds ready to go. You just rest up, Margaret. It's going to be an exhausting few days for you. Maybe I'll wait until dangerously tired has passed. And they can woohoo again. And then that way she'll at least get the option to take a pregnancy test. And then she can find out that she's pregnant and share the good news. Okay, she's not dangerously tired anymore. So why don't you guys woohoo again? I think Seth's going to ask the question. Oh, he's got so much back hair. Okay, so once they get done, she can take a pregnancy test and then maybe she'll think it's Seth's baby and we can just completely ignore the elephant in the room. Go and take a pregnancy test. Animations and all. Well, what's the verdict, Margaret? It should pop up and say that she's pregnant. Well, she looks pretty shocked to me. <laughs> Margaret is pregnant. I love that pregnancy animation. That's brilliant. So that's been added since the last time I played with this mod. All right, Margaret, go share the big news. Start off by asking if Seth has children. And then when he says no, you could be like, well, that's about to change. Ask to accompany childbirth. I don't have any children. Well, that's about to change, Seth. I would do anything for you, my love. Well, she's pretty happy about the baby. He doesn't have any mood buffs about the baby. Oh, she just threw up all over the floor. Sorry, Margaret, this is going to be a rough few days for you. Okay, well, I'm thinking 
I'm going to put Margaret in her second trimester because at that point I'm pretty sure she can make an appointment with her OBGYN. And also, yes, I still have my gynecologist mod. Okay, perfect. Well, that's what we're going to do first. We'll go visit the gynecologist. And then when she comes back, she can call the obstetrician to arrange her, um, there we go, birthing options. So we're going to go for natural delivery. Yep, this is what we would like. Natural delivery, please. Margaret can handle it. She's a tough cookie, even if it is triplets. Go, we'll put our little scan picture on the wall. That has nothing to do with the birthing mod. This is actually an old mod. It's Little Miss Sam's ultrasound um, mod. Likely be two boys and one girl. Oh, there they are, my little triplets. Right, well, we've put things in place. No point waiting around. Let's pop her in labour. I wonder if this will kill her. I wonder if she will die from this. She seems pretty chill, though. She's just relaxing in her rocking chair. Have baby at hospital. Let's go. I will go along for the ride as well. So will Seth. He is our official birthing partner after all. Okay, so there's my doctor. She's just... Her waters have broke. And the nurses are all complaining about the water on the floor. Guys, come on, this is your job. Hopefully, Margaret makes it through this without um, dying. Okay, ask to check dilation. And then we should probably do some breathing exercises. And then I'm going to see if there are some more options for Seth. They can sway together. So we'll get him to do that. Oh, she's checking. Dilation, how's it looking? How many centimetres, Doc? One centimetre dilated. So that's one of the new animations added, the breathing exercise. A lot of moaning going on. You'll be fine, Margaret. Just breathe through it. This is one of the very few times that it's actually handy that teens, adults and elders have the same body type. Because it means you can take mods like this and do crazy shit like get grandma pregnant. This is another one of the new animations is getting them to sway together oh quite cute did her water just break again that water is gushing out damn yeah there is also with this mod another animation where you can sit on like a exercise ball and breathe through that we covered that the first time i looked at this mod oh seth is such a supportive partner he's gonna make a great dad okay and what options do i have when i just click on margaret you can go for a walk. That was there before. Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe Margaret will go for a little walk. See if we can walk off the pain. Do you reckon we should call Jeffrey Landgrab? Nah, be inappropriate. He's basically a sperm donor at this point, isn't he? Not much point getting him involved. If there was one thing I would change about this mod, just one thing, it would probably be that I wish... I could click on her and adjust how many centimetres she's dilated. Because this mod is very good for giving you a realistic um, birthing experience, she says, having never given birth. But, you know, it is more realistic than what you get in The Sims. It would be nice to be able to still have a realistic birth, but be able to maybe speed up the process a little bit. Maybe we're more dilated now than we were before. Let's go check. Check dilation... My guess is that we are going to be, I don't know, I reckon maybe three or four centimetres dilated now, perhaps. Bitch, get off the PC and check my puss. How dilated am I? All right, let's take a look. What are we dealing with now? Two, try exercising on a birthing ball or take a walk. Right, Margaret, go and take another walk. Because after all that swaying, breathing and walking, we've only dilated one extra centimetre. So let's go again. I just realised she's got an angry mood buff. I'm done from early labour. Why is this taking so long? Margaret knew it would be painful, but this? She did not sign up for this. Yeah, you did, Margaret. The contractions are intense stabbing pains that are making her feel irritated. She can't help but snap at everything and everyone around them. Anything to distract herself from the pain. Just get this baby out already. All right, well, we've done a bit more walking. Maybe we'll check our dilation again. Seven centimetres. Okay, that's good. It's almost time. Oh, I think it's... Yep, it's birth time. Wait, shouldn't you be making your way over? Huh? I can hear baby noises. About time already. The contractions are intense. 
Okay, time to have our three babies. It's okay, Margaret. You're, you're gonna be fine. You're doing just great. You only have to do that three times. Oh, finally. Finally, Seth has made his way over. It's only three babies, Margaret. You'll be fine. Plus the placenta, however big that is. The interactions, um, or the animations even, they look pretty similar to the one before, where they have just the one baby. Oh, we had a baby boy. We will have Randy, another boy, Reggie, and then a girl, Raina. There we go, three babies. The doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Yeah, there is going to be another update to this mod that's going to have the, um, ah, uh, that's going to have a water birth as well, and also an at-home birth where Sims can give birth in their beds. Oh, there's baby number two making their way up. Little Randy and Reggie. Wait, let me just take a look at those babies' faces. He looks pissed off to have been born, doesn't he? You're doing a great job, Margaret. Imagine having two babies to hold whilst pushing out the third. There we go, three babies. They're even crying. I can even hear little baby crying. Aww. They seem pretty happy. Oh, what, you're tired, are you, Seth? Yeah? Unbelievable. All right. Are you seriously going to go and play video games? Let's go home. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And then I will be back on this mod once the water birth and the at-home birth mods are released. And we'll take a look at them. Bye-bye.